do a review on the Adornit watercolor pencils. Um, I am an ambassador with uh, Documented Faith and Adornit. However, I did not receive these from them. Um, I paid for these with my own money. So just so you know up front, um, I did buy these myself. So I will give you my honest opinion about these pencils. I'm going to go ahead and compare them to some of the other products I use in my Bible. These are the Lyra... Um, aqua color crayons. These are a watercolor crayon. So I'll kind of show you how those compare to each other. I also went ahead and pulled my um, Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Now these are different in the sense that the Adornit pencils are watercolor pencils and the Ink Tents are technically India ink. So these are permanent once dry. The watercolor pencils you should be able to continue to work if they're re-wetted. So that's just kind of the different. However, they do work similarly and I kind of use them interchangeably in my Bible. So um, I went ahead, um, I keep them in these clear photo boxes. So I do have an empty one here for the Adornit pencils. Though I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna put them in there because I noticed these pencils don't have color names on them. So I'm not quite sure. I need to figure out a system for um, identifying the colors to be able to compare them to my color chart that I set up for my products. So we'll, we'll see. So the pencils just have brand information, but they don't have any color information on there. Um, when you order these, you do also get a, a water brush from Adornit. If you've never used one of these before, basically it's a brush that already has water in the barrel of the brush here so this twists off you fill this with water there is a mechanism here that keeps the water from just free flowing out of the brush and then the brush here and um, they do sell these in a three pack with different sizes this one comes with the small brush um, and I really enjoy using these um, with any of my water activated products, but especially the uh, pencils and things like that. So I will go ahead and use that. Um, just so you have an idea price wise, the Lyra Aquacolor Crayons, I bought the 48 pack. This is the all the colors that they carry of the watercolor crayons. Um, and that is about $50 on Amazon for the 48. The 24 pack is $35. For the Ink Tense pencils, I originally bought the 24 pack, which is about $36. And then I went on to dickblick.com. I'll have a link to that um, site down below. And I ordered some single pencils of colors that I wanted to add into that 24 collection. They do have um, the 72, which is 60, you know, $69-ish. Um, and then the Adornit watercolor pencils, I had bought mine off of Amazon. I want to say they were around $20 on Amazon. Um, but when I looked today, they are no longer available on Amazon. They're out of stock. But you can get them from the Adornit website. Um, that's Adornit.com. I'll leave that, that link down below. And it was $24 for the 36 count on there. So you can see, you know, they're cheaper. You're going to get more pencils than the Ink Tense pencils for a cheaper price. And then um, same thing here with the Lear Aqua Colors. So these are the cheaper product than the others, but we'll kind of see how they compare um, quality wise to see if that makes a difference. These are things that I would look into if you are frustrated or done with the artist loft watercolors that are kind of common, the ones that come in the pan, um, and are looking for something the next step up, these are some of the products that I would look into. So um, what I'm going to show you is how these work, first of all, on these. Now these are the paintables from Adornit, and they come like this in a full sheet. I have the Documented Faith ones. Now these were sent to me by Documented Faith. Um, these ones here are sized to be like the tip-ins or bookmarks, and then you cut those out. These ones were a couple sheets of the cards, and I just went ahead and cut them all out. They are printed on a thin watercolor paper. Um, there is some warping when it gets wet, but there isn't a whole lot of bleed through. I am able to flatten them out 
So this is better than if you were to color on, let's say, just plain cardstock or something like that. So, and the Document of Faith ones all have like verses and just little spiritual sayings and things like that. So these are a lot of fun if you wanted to color them in. You can do markers, crayons, pencils, um, watercolor pencils, watercolors, watered down acrylic paints, anything you wanted to use, uh, these are great for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at how some of these um, compare here. So, and um, I do have some swatches of the colors also, so we'll take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some color here. So this is just kind of a deeper, brighter purple color. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can lightly color down color on there first. You can press a little harder to get darker. So you can go ahead and just add in your shading before you even activate with water. So this is nice if you're looking for an easy way to experiment with shading and things like that. Um, you can also take a cup of water Dip your pencil in there and then go ahead and you should be able to color. And then you get a much richer payoff that way. You do wanna make sure that you dry off your pencil before putting them away. That way they don't mildew or warp or things like that. They seem to be a little bit more difficult to use that way than other products I've used, but just kind of gives you an idea so you get this really nice payoff and then here where it was dry go ahead and take the water brush I just gave a light squeeze to get the water flowing I'll start where the color is lighter and you can just see it instantly starts dissolving that pencil and then we'll go in over here where it's a little bit darker you can see how easy it is to get shading just by how much pressure you apply to the pencil. So there's that. Here you can go ahead and still continue to pull out some of that color. And that's one of the factors of using a watercolor pencil is you can continue to kind of work that color around and reactivate it. And you can't necessarily do that with the ink tense pencils. So I'll show you with the ink tense pencils. This is the fuchsia color. So you can go ahead, I'm gonna do these leaves, I know that they're not <laughs> pink, but so again, just lightly applying color. Here's darker color. Um, the ink tense pencils are very, very, very vibrant, so it doesn't take much at all to get them to have a color payoff. Again, you can dip them in the water and color with them. Now you can see these are much easier to use that way than the adornment pencils were. But they seem to melt a little easier than the adornment pencils did. And so then I'm just gonna go ahead and dry that off. And then here I'm gonna start, make sure my brush is clean. Start in the lighter color and then work over to the darker color. So these colors are pretty similar, but you can see just how much more payoff you get with the ink tense pencil than you do with the adorn it. But price wise, you know, there's quite a bit of a difference price wise. So the other way I like to use these is to take your wet brush and touch the end. It has a lot of water on there. Touch the end of the pencil, pick up some color, and then paint it in and that way you get a nice smooth color without the colored in lines. You should be able to do that same thing. These are the adornment pencils. So again, just touching my wet brush to the end of the pencil. And yes, you get a nice smooth. That seems to, to work quite well there. Um, let's go ahead and try the Liras. I don't know that I have a color close to that. In the Liras. We'll just pull up purple. So 
this will be more purple than pink, but that's okay. Um, now, since this is a crayon, you have a more blunt end, so you can't get into as fine of areas, but you can, you know, color down first, can color harder, get more payoff. Let me activate that. Actually, that color's kind of close. Um, these you can dip in and color, but you can see it's a little chunky and odd, so I don't usually use them that way. And then you can continue to kind of blend out that color. So I don't really use them by dipping any of these products in the water, but I just want to show you that's a quick way to color them in rather than coloring and then activating with the paintbrush. Um, you can also touch this with your wet paintbrush, pick up color and apply that. And the nice thing about ink tents is once they're dry, you can go back and um, layer on different colors and have kind of a stacked layered look. With the watercolors, once they're dry, you can go back and add more color, but it will kind of blend in with that layer that's underneath since it's not a permanent color. So um, that just kind of gives you an idea of how those work and how I use them. Let's take a look and see how they look in Bible pages just to see about bleed through and things like that. So. Uh, I like to use the back pages in my Bible to test out new products. So I've gone ahead, I went ahead and uh, drew out some little flowers. This one here is the Ink Tense pencils. This one here is the Adorn It watercolor pencils. And then this is the Lyra watercolor crayon. I laid out some light color, some darker shaded areas, and then activated it with my paintbrush. Um, you can see on the back side here, this is where you kind of see the difference. So the Lyra Aqua Color Crayons, this is one downside to them. Um, the pinks, reds, and black do seem to bleed through a little bit more than the watercolor pencils do. So I may pick up some of the Neo Color 2s in the colors that bleed through. So um, that's just something to be considerate of. However, the Lyra crayons are cheaper than the Neo Color 2 crayons, so that's kind of why I had gone with those. Um, down here, this is the Derwent pencil, the Ink Tense, and then this is the Adornit watercolor pencil. So you can see no bleed through from either one of those. There is some shadowing, which is completely normal with any medium that you color on your Bible page with, um, but no bleed through, so that's really nice. And they were um, pretty smooth to use on the Bible page. I will say I don't typically color down dry and then activate with water because it is hard to completely dissolve all the lines um, with either one of the pencils. The crayon is pretty easy to dissolve, but the pencils, I have a hard time. I usually do the technique where I take the brush, um, touch it to the tip of the pencil, and then color in an area. Um, one nice thing about using um, the pencils is if you didn't like this look with the harsh black ink, you could do something where you draw out your flower in the pencil itself, let's say, and then you'll color that in. I'm just gonna do this kinda sloppily since I'm, I don't wanna be on here for too long. And then you can go in with your paintbrush and start dissolving that and then you would have a softer edge than if you were to use the pen um, to outline. So you can get a little bit softer of a look if that's what you're looking for. So you could go ahead and sketch out and then come in here and paint it just like this, and then you would have a softer looking flower. Um, I typically like the um, look with the ink. That's just my style, but you could very easily do it this way. Um, wherever you lay down the pencil the heaviest, it will still, you can see there's a little bit of a darker line around the edge. That won't completely go away, but that's okay. You do want a little bit of definition to that to that petal, so you can do that. Um, 
with any of those, the ink tense pencils, the crayon, um, or these pencils here, you can do that with them. So I'll go ahead and show you these different ones swatched out. So here are the Adornant watercolor pencils. And this is again the 36 count. This is the only size package they come in. Um, and so one thing I noticed that was really nice is you do get a warm gray and a cool gray, which not a lot of products always do that. Um, they're very vibrant, bright colors, not a whole lot of earthy. There's a little bit of earthy tone, um, but it does seem to be a little more vibrant. There are some earthy colors, but um, they are quite, quite bright, which I do like. I do like that. Um, let's see here. I have my little swatch book. So what I do is I swatch out all my products in this book here. So these are the ink tense pencils. What I had done is just stamped out the stamp from one of the Illustrated Faith kits um, and then colored it in with the pencils that I have. So you can see I have a lot more earthy toned um, colors in the ink tense pencils. Uh, vibrancy wise, you probably could get the adornment pencils as vibrant as these, but you would need to lay down a little more pigment than you have to lay down with the ink tense pencils. So um, you may use up the adornment pencils quicker than you do the ink tense pencils. Realistically, I don't think in a lifetime I'll use up either one of those, but that's just something to consider. Um, and then the, I'm trying to find, here they are. These are the Lyra watercolor crayons. That's these ones here, the crayons. Um, and here's the swatch sheet for those. Again, a little, uh, a little more muted than these are. So I would say that the watercolor pencils from Adornit are more vibrant than the Lyra watercolor crayons. Um, this is the 48 set that I have. So there's 48 of these, 36 of these. Um, and you can see some similar colors, but like you get, you know, some more like earthy greens, whereas here, you know, you're only getting, you know, a couple of the earthy tones. So it just kind of depends on what colors you lean towards and what you like to use. You definitely don't need all three products. I would say that you could get away with just one. Um, and just depending on how you want to use them, kind of the price point that you're looking for would determine um, which product you want to go with. Uh, I will say I am pleasantly surprised with the, these watercolor pencils. I had tried some from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think they were just the Hobby Lobby brand. I want to say they were like $12 or $14 and they were horrible. I really did not like them at all. So I actually got rid of them. So I was a little bit skeptical when I got these, but I really enjoy these. So I'm excited to try them out in my Bible um, and see how they work in there as I go through my pages in there. So be sure to check out the description bar down below. I'll have links to all of the products that I use today and where you can find them and any discount, discount codes if I have them available. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be updated of any videos I may have coming out in the future. I do have a few more lined up already. I'm currently trying to upload three times a week, so be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about any of the products used, be sure to leave a comment down below. I do answer those comments. Uh, YouTube has been a little finicky and is picking and choosing who I get to respond to, so don't feel bad if you don't get a response. It's, it's YouTube. Um, dealing with that so but I do try to respond to questions on there so until next time thank you so much goodbye